Hello everyone and welcome to another finale tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create time signatures which beam correctly according to the metric duration or subdivision of the uh, beat that you want it to be subdivided into. Uh, in other words how to basically beam the time signature correctly. So for example I have a 5 8 here and it can be beamed in two ways. It can either be beamed as a group of 3 plus 2 or a group of 2 plus 3. Now the easy quote easy way of doing this is by having a note selected and just pressing slash and to do this manually it's like okay there you go. You've got a group of 2 and a group of 3 or you can just do that and it's beamed that way. But let's say you're writing a piece and uh, you don't want to have to keep keep doing this. So by default Finale has the most common time signatures uh, for you right here. So if you have the time signature tool, uh, so it shows you all the different options, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2, and even uh, 7, 8, uh, 2 plus 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2 plus 2. Um, so you have that there for you, and they're nice enough to supply you with this because uh, creating a 5, 8 beamed correctly is uh, rather difficult, but uh, that's what this video is going to uh, highlight. Now for this demonstration I'm going to make a 9-8 and I'm going to subdivide it as such. I'm going to make it a group of 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. So you have a group of 2, group of 3, group of 2, and a group of 2. Hope that makes sense so far. Go ahead and select on the time signature tool, select on the measure, edit time signature. Now what you'll need to do now is go up to more options. One thing to differentiate right here immediately. If you choose this more options, this drop down will occur. If you have this box checked, use a different time signature for display. This is what is going to appear. This is the time signature that's going to appear on on score. But this is what's going to actually, you know, this will actually be the real time signature. This is the one that's actually uh, listed right here. You notice here that 5 8 is presented instead of 3 8 plus an, uh, a group of 1 4. Uh, that would be really awful to read. So, this is what's going to be shown on the score, uh, the final score. This is simply how you make it look um, beam correctly. I hope that makes sense. So, in here, we need to create a group of 9 8. So, our first step is go ahead and on the bottom click composite. Uh, I'm sorry, we need to uncheck this first. We need to create a 9 8 right here so uh, we can be rather crude. Just go ahead and line up 9 8. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing this. You can, of course, uh, well, let's keep it like that. 9 8 right there. Okay, so now we need to make sure it's beamed properly, and this is where things get a little fuzzy. Okay, so we have a group of a three right here, and we can't, unfortunately, put uh, time signatures right here. We can't have a group of three eight, three eight time signature, because it won't won't beam pr properly. So this chart right here shows you the EDU, uh, essentially the note value equivalent. There's a number assigned to each note value, and this might look very familiar to uh, programmers. Uh, this is just binary. And that's all it really is. So a quarter note equals 124 EDUs. So basically, if I want to have a 1-4, a I just would type 24 right there. And you see you have a group of 1-4. If I want 2, I can do it two ways. I can have a 2-4 because there's two uh, beats of this value, the quarter notes, or I can do um, the next multiple of 24, basically just doubling it, which is 2048. So I have two, uh, let's do this, one half note. So uh, an EDU, uh, 2048 is the uh, EDU value for a half note. Uh, an eighth note right here is 512. It's basically, well, it's half. So this kind of makes sense, right? So that's an eighth note, and then 
to get to a dotted uh, a dotted note, we'll need to add, like we would in music anyway, right? Add a uh, an eighth note with a sixteenth note. So we need to add five twelve and two fifty six together, which gives us uh, seven sixty eight. So to get a dotted quarter, seven sixty eight. Uh, you see it right there. And the same thing applies to a dotted quarter. That's just a quarter tied to an eighth note. So again, add 1024 to 512, which gives us 1536. And there you have um, a, a 3 8 beamed properly right there. I know that's a lot of math, especially for, for doing this, but uh, if you're a musician, you're probably used to math. So this hopefully, you know, flexes yours, those uh, math skills. But uh, let's get let's get to work on this. So we need a quarter note right here. So we need to do 1, uh, 10, 24. Okay. By the way, you can press tab to get to the what I'm doing here. I'm just pressing tab on your keyboard and then you can just hold shift and tab to go backwards you need a group of three so that's going to be one dotted quarter and as we see right up here the value for that is 1536 we'll need another quarter and one more uh, quarter right there make sure use edus for beat duration is checked otherwise this will look like a mess so uh, make sure that's checked. Yeah. All right. Or I guess you could just do it like that. But uh, there you have that. Make sure 9.8 is displayed. This is going to be the underlying uh, beaming pattern. And go ahead and click OK. Oops. Did I do something wrong? Let's try that again. Uh, make sure that's checked. Use different time signature for display. Uh, wonderful. Make sure to have that box checked. Let's just go ahead and fix this really quick. Um, that's four, three. Uh, we're close. Nine. Okay. Make sure that box is checked. There we go. Now it should work. So now, if I put it in there, that's how you get that. That was quite, quite a, uh, quite an excursion out there. But that's how you get uh, it to beam as, as such. And of course, you can, uh, you can beam them in all sorts of different ways. But I hope that helped you out. I hope that clarified any, any of this confusion. I know it's uh, very confusing to have this beamed correctly, but. Um, I hope that makes sense, and I hope this was useful. So uh, if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and leave a like. It lets me know that I'm doing a good, good job. If you want to see more of my content, please go ahead and consider subscribing, and um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.